Hello, I'm Dave from DinoPC, and this is the Corsair 460X. Just a reminder that all of the opinions on this video are my own, and may not necessarily reflect those at Dino PC. And with that being said, let's get started. So the last video I did was, on a case anyway, on the Corsair Spec Alpha. You can click that here, and it's actually one of our best viewed videos to date. We do a very quick overview, and that's what I'm going to do here too, because why not? Normally we let Silas do the case reviews on this show, but today he's rather busy, so I'm going to do it, which means that Corsair are worried. They're worried because I gave a glowing review to their spec Alpha, and I didn't give a very glowing review about the ML fans. I didn't quite get them. Apparently a lot of people disagree with me. That's fair enough. But what do I think of their newest creation, the Crystal 460X, which we have here? The long and short of it is, it's brilliant. But let me explain why. Think of this as the Corsair 400C with a glassy makeover. Essentially, it's exactly the same layout as the 400C. However, the tooling is brand new. As well as that, we've also got this awesome tempered glass on the side and on the front as well. First thing I have to say is that, well, it's really light. I know that seems a really odd place to start off, but we have the Fantex Evolve with tempered glass over there. And the glass is thicker, and there's slightly more of it, being the tempered glass on the other side as well. However, for some reason, this case is just unbelievably light. I'm not quite sure how Corsair have done it, but they have. So well done, Corsair. Props there. That actually does make things easier when you're building in it. So let's talk about some of the features then, shall we? Despite the solid glass panel at the front, Corsair is still maintaining a direct airflow through the chassis via air vents around the side of the forward panel. On the side, you get this beautiful tempered glass, and this is exactly the point of the case. This is designed to be beautiful. It's not designed to be cool, it's designed to be utterly beautiful. Putting the latest components inside is a must. Cable management has has to be perfect because there is nowhere to hide with all that tempered glass. Unlike the Spec Alpha, which is designed to look cool but is a cheap solution, this is designed to look gorgeous and is an expensive solution. They are targeting the mid to high range market with this thing and this is designed once again, like the Spec Alpha, to be put on your desk, to be on show, to show everybody exactly how bully you are with all of the components that you can put inside of it. So, I.O. Well, you have a power button on the front, two USB 3.0 ports, a headphone and microphone jack, and you also have one touch lighting control with a three button RGB light controller to change the color, profile and the lighting. You can also control the mode speed of each of the three integrated SP120 RGB fans if you decide to go for that option, of which there are two. There is the Crystal RGB 460X and there is the standard 460X, which is the one we've got here. If you have the RGB version, you get three RGB fans placed at the front. It does cost an extra £30, however, but I'd say that would probably be the option I'd go for if I was going to buy this case. Speaking of the two different types, I have my first and pretty much only issue with this case, which is the price, and this isn't necessarily Corsair's fault. For £109.99p, you get this version of the case with the singular fan at the front, the singular fan at the back. If you want the SP120s, you pay £140. Um, but the thing is, is that in America, if you live there, you get to pay $140 for the RGB version, which is awesome because obviously $140 is a lot less than £140. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe hashtag Brexit is 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 happening but that is the only problem i have with the case why can't the, us brits have it at the same price effectively as the americans but that's my only complaint moving on of course you get corsair's now infamous tool free drive installation side panel access and cleverly positioned cable routing options to make it that little bit easier when building inside this bad boy. You also get easily accessible dust filters on the front, top and bottom, which means you shouldn't spend more than a minute getting dust out of your system. And this is the other little niggle I have, the 
which isn't a problem with the case, it's just a problem with glass, is that because you can see everything, the, you're going to need to dust this out regularly, more regularly than you would for most cases, because instead of having just one side panel window there, which you can just kind of blow off and sort of vaguely peer inside, the glass is going to show everything. And if dust sticks to it, you're going to absolutely see it and it's going to bother you and you're going to want to clean it. But again, that's not a problem with the, uh, the, the Corsair. It's just a problem with dust that it exists. Damn dust. The other thing is, is that dust is going to be getting in there despite the uh, filters because of course this has a lot of airflow going on in it. It is designed to suck as much air as possible through the front and vent it out of the back, which means you're going to have a lot of air passing through it, which means air contains dust, dust contains problems because beauty. But that's only if it's in its standard configuration. You can configure it in a number of ways as well. Let me give you some of the numbers. The Crystal Series 460 Compact ATX Mid Tower case has the dimensions of length, width and height of 440mm by 220mm by 464mm. Its maximum GPU length is plenty at 370mm. Its maximum cooler height is 170. Its maximum uh, power supply length is 200mm. It can hold uh, two 3.5 inch hard drives and has three 2.5 inch drive bays. It can support ATX up to 272mm, micro ATX and mini ITX. Its cooling layout in the front, we have three 120mm fans or two 140mm fans. You do get three 120mm S. P120 RGB LED fans if you decide to pick the RGB option which is the one that I suggest that you go for because those fans are awesome. In terms of radiator co compatibility you can fit a 360mm in the front only uh, with a 395mm max radiator length, a 280mm in the front only, a 240mm in the front or the top, a 120mm in the front top or rear. There are as I mentioned earlier dust filters on all of the intakes so if you want to come to the bottom and just grab dust filter you can or you can peel one off the top here or you can come around the front take this off and grab it from the front as well so there are dust filters everywhere and they're mostly magnetic or they simply slot in which is brilliant because it means you can do it really really fast except I failed there because I wasn't looking at what I was doing. So what do I think about the overall product after the quick overview? Well, I've had a look inside and all I can say is, is that it's basically exactly the same as building inside a Corsair 400C. Um, the main difference to uh, talk about here is the looks. The looks are something that are obviously uh, very personal. If you like it, you'll love it. If you don't like it, well, there you go. Personally, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And it's joined that exclusive club of cases that uh, Inwin and Fantex with their Evolve, which is right back here, have sort of uh, created for themselves in that you buy a case that's so beautiful, you want to do it justice by picking the right components to go in the case. It's not so much a case of mm, stick any components in that you want and there you go. I would almost say that this case dictates what goes in it and how well you cable manage and do all of that because it is that good looking. To me, this is the most favourable looking case on the market for this price at the moment. That's for me personally, I'm not saying that it is. I would say that if this came in white it would almost be perfect for me because then I could put all my white and red components inside of it and say thank you Corsair, I love it. To you though, it may not be beautiful. It's up to you to decide. The other things to mention, of course, are the fact that you get these screws. Now, I never normally mention screws in a review because they're screws. Who cares about them? Every time I decided, to, every time I was looking inside, feeling around, doing B-roll footage inside of this bad boy, I had to take out these screws and these screws. They feel super premium. They feel qual made of, as if they're made of quality components and quality materials. In fact, they're so good that I don't even have to screw them in with a screwdriver, despite obviously having the option to. I can actually just use my hands and they feel safe. The tempered glass is definitely not going anywhere. The screws are almost certainly not going to thread because of their quality design. And these front screws that have been made, especially for the front of this case, are absolutely beautiful. 
They have a long shaft with the screw point at the end and you can really, really feel as if your glass is safe, which is something that you can't say for some of the other products on the market right now. Would I recommend this case? Yes, I would. But obviously, it's got its own market. If you are somebody who wants to build a £500 PC, then you're not going to spend £140 on the case. If, however, you're in the market and you want to buy a £1,500 PC, then this case is almost certainly going to be in your top five lists of ones to use. So, well done, Corsair. Congratulations, I love the case. And Silas informs me that it is very easy to build in. I unfortunately haven't had a chance to build in it myself, uh, but I trust Silas with my life. And you should trust him too. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, then make sure you leave a like. I know this is a quick overview of this product. We could have gone into a little bit more detail, but I wanted to make sure that I got all of the basics out of the way for you as we managed to get our hands on this case early. And it's a pretty darn cool case, even if I have to say so uh, myself. Make sure you leave a like, as I said before. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.